what is up? We are, I feel like we are close. <laughs> so I'm still in my jammies, but I'm getting ready for the day and figured I would just start vlogging because we're just vlogging and <laughs> we're vlogging. I don't even know what I'm talking about. We're starting off strong, not much I know. I am in the middle of doing my makeup. I just put on, I recently like cleaned out my vanity drawers. They needed it. I could, I'm weeding through just to find like my eyeliner every day and I'm looking for the same eyeliner every time. So I'm like, anyway, got it all like reorganized into my collection and then pulled out just what I wanted to use right now. This eyebrow gel, it's the Lawless Hold Up Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax. It's what I use in my brows and it's what I've been using the past few weeks. And I really like it because it does give a little bit of color, like obviously, but one thing I'm noticing about my beloved e.l.f. Wow Brow is that it's inconsistent. When I buy it, the shade I'll buy will look different every time I get it. And sometimes it is spot on and sometimes it's a little bit too light. And so then I'm like, maybe I got the wrong shade. And then I look and I'm like, no, I did. So I still love my Wow Brow. I still have it. I use it all the time. But it's just one thing that does bother me about it. This one, of course, is not nearly as inexpensive. So it's just something to know. But it hasn't been drying out as quickly as my e.l.f. one does. So not that it would necessarily over time equate, but the e.l.f. one I can use for a month and then it's toast. Like then I've got to get a new one. So maybe either way, the tone of this, it's the shade medium dark. I'm really liking. It's not wildly waxy. It's not super pigmented. It's perfectly in the middle. So I've been enjoying it. I would put it on, but I mean, I don't really need any more. But yeah, I've just been really enjoying it and I don't think I've talked about it really at all on my channel. If you're in need of a new one and you felt that the e.l.f. one was not enough for you color-wise, but maybe like the Essence Make Me Brow was too much pigment-wise, this one's in the middle and it's still kind of soft, but I feel like my brows stay in place pretty well and yeah, I really like it. So the other things I have put on is the Rose Ink Solar Power SPF. And I tried again the Murad. <laughs> I just don't know. The Targeted Wrinkle Corrector. I put it on my fine lines there and on my like fine lines and like little mini crow's feet there. I really do feel like it does make your wrinkles not wrinkles. I know some of you guys are watching. And you're like, Jessica, you know, I, I know. My, but you know what I'm saying? The lines. I do feel like it makes them less obvious, but it doesn't, I don't think that it lasts all day and I just don't know, I don't know. Have you guys tried this? I still don't know how to feel and I've used this a lot more and I, I think it works, but it doesn't last all day and I don't know for the price if it would be worth it for most people. So I guess maybe that is my feelings on it. Now I bought this on the 50% off sale, maybe that is when it would be worth it for people to buy it. If you have a lot more wrinkles than me and you use this, does it work for you? Give us your thoughts below because I, I think that might be more valuable than my opinion in this case. Anyway, so then I put on the Armani. I'm using all this expensive stuff. You guys know I, I use a lot of drugstore. I'm starting this off with a lot of pricey stuff. This is the Armani Luminous Silk, which I also love. Well, I really like I don't know that I love it. Although I do like the way it looks. You can still like see my skin. Anyway, and I'm retrying as I promised to do in my concealer declutter this product. This is the Revolution IRL Filter Finish Concealer. I think it looks really nice. So I'm glad I'm giving this some more attempts because I felt like I kind of quickly judged it. So I did this side with a brush and this side with a sponge. I think I actually like it better with the sponge. But yeah, I'm liking it. I'm going to continue or keep using it. Yeah, I'm just doing something quick and easy because Tyler and I are filming an episode of our podcast today, which is the Disneyville podcast um, when he gets home. And, and then otherwise, I'm just getting some work done. I was outside on our back porch getting a little bit of work done uh, earlier. And now I'm like, all right, I need to like actually get out of my jammies and get going. The pajamas I'm wearing is actually a matching set. And it's from the brand Tommy John. I'm maybe, maybe going to do a brand deal with them. I'm still deciding and I'm trying out some stuff. Um, it's pricier, but it feels very high quality. Uh, like really, I know they would give me a um, like coupon code. So, but I like that it's like, look at that. How cute. It's a matching set 
and then there's like jogger cuffs on the bottom. And I love this color and it's like that waffle detail. Anyway, ooh. I don't know if I'm gonna work with them or not. I'm still trying out a couple more products from them to decide, but so far, based on what I've tried, I'm really liking it. Like these would be the things to ask for, for like Christmas, Mother's Day, whatever, just saying. Okay, uh, this vlog, by the way, is not sponsored. Just FYI, if you were curious. I have not done my eyes. I don't usually do my face before my eyes, but here we are. I'm gonna throw on the Milani Romantic Rose Blush, one of my like top three favorite blushes ever, I think. It's just, oh, it's just so simple, so pretty. I love the tone mm, and it just lasts all day. I feel like most powder blushes generally last all day. Remember when, oh my gosh, this just came to my mind. Uh, remember when Tarte blushes were such a thing and like the Amazonian clay and they still are and I still like them. I have a couple in my collection right now that I still really like but they were such a thing. And I remember this is like back 10 years ago when I started YouTube too. Everyone would be like, these last like all day, like they're 12 hour blushes, they're gonna last all day. But now I don't know that I can name a powder blush that doesn't stay on pretty much all day. Like, I mean, genuinely. And I don't know if that's a testament to the fact that brands have just, they're all making really good powder blushes or if they've all always lasted that long and Tarte was just, I don't know, really harping on that fact about theirs. But like, you know what I'm saying? Give me give me your thoughts below because I am I am curious because that, that just makes me giggle. Because with cream and liquid blushes, that makes sense because some of them do not last as long as others. So anyway, maybe I'll throw on a little of my... Sweet peach, still love it. And it still smells like peaches and my favorite shade, eventually I'll hit pan on, is the shade Luscious and I just slap it all on, blend it in and it's perfect. A lot of times you can find this like 50% off on ra in random places like on the Too Faced website or, I mean, it's Too Faced, please. Please make the shade Luscious in a single shadow and make it smell like peaches and just don't change a thing. I would spend a gross amount of money just on this single shadow. I mean, when I run out of this, I will probably buy this palette again just so I can have that shade. That is the level we're at. I found colors that are similar, but I have not found the exact same thing. So this is what it looks like up close if you're curious. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm gonna finish getting ready and we'll be back later. Cheers. Here's what it looks like if anyone's curious. Um, yeah. Mm. All right. It's like 4 p.m. I need to run to the grocery store and get some groceries for just a couple of random. This light. I need to ask Tyler. This box has been here for like three days and I keep meaning to ask him like, are we replacing a light bulb or do we need to put this away? And also where's it go? He's in, he's light bulb king. <laughs> Okay, anyway, who's in charge of light bulbs in your household? It's not me in this household. Anyway, going to the grocery store to get a couple of things we need for uh, the next night or two for dinners, just a few other like produce items we're out of, and then um, going to pick up Miss Genevieve and start our evening. The dinner I'm going to make tonight is like, it's a new recipe. It's like sausage and peppers and stuff. It sounds like it'd be good and kind of healthy. We're going to use like a slightly maybe healthier sausage. We're going to try it and I hope it's I hope it's good cuz it sounds good. We're at the store and since we're going on a road trip in a couple days, we are picking out one of these for Genevieve. Yeah, Genevieve's oh, picking a lot it out. of them are so good. I know. All right, we are back. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> from the grocery store, I ended up picking up Gigi was just a little early from school and then I took her to the store with me. Anyway, not that you needed to know, but it's a very exciting mommy daughter grocery outing. So this is the recipe. I may have shown this in my last vlog when I was showing a couple new recipes. I don't remember, but I'll link it below. It should be really easy. It's from that one uh, website, Easy Weeknight Dinners, Easy Family, something. I'll, I'll link it below, like I said. But um, it calls for sweet Italian sausage links. I'm going to use what I've used before, which is like this kind of, it's this vegan sausage. We make a lot because we love the taste of it. Smoked apple and sage plant-based sausages. I mean, you guys know we don't eat a plant-based diet. We eat lots of meat, but we try to incorporate just other stuff. 
and we like the taste of it. So I'm now seeing it's technically expired, but it's made with like potatoes and apples and stuff. I feel like it's probably fine. I'll see if it smells okay. But so it come, calls for two different kinds of onions, two different kinds of bell peppers, garlic, some herbs, some chicken broth and butter. That's pretty much it. So I think this is one of those things that you could serve over rice or something I'm gonna use. Our favorite Trader Joe's blend that we always get. Oh, actually it'd be good over pearl couscous too. But what is that? Well, I'll have to have Tyler find it. It's like this blend of like quinoa and like three other things. And it's just a really tasty kind of grain base. So we're gonna make that and I'm hoping it's as quick as it says it is. It says prep time 15 minutes, cook time 15 minutes. Here's to hoping that's true because we are all very hungry. Also, my mother-in-law Benita gave us this beautiful plant. Um, she, I think had been propagating a bunch of these, but we don't know what the plant is. It's so pretty, it has little white flowers when it blooms. So if you know what this is, please let us know and I will let her know too because she's got a whole bunch of these. Um, and this pot she gave us is so gorgeous. So I think it looks perfect right above the sink like that because we really haven't had anything up here in a while. So let us know if you know, plant people. So right off the top, it seems like a lot of onion. <laughs> um, we're supposed to cook like the peppers and the onion together in the same pan, but I was like, eh. I'd already dirtied this pan to cook the sausage. So I'm like, I'm just gonna cook them separate so they cook quicker and then we'll combine them all and hopefully they'll all fit in this here pan. And then I've got the grains blend in there. So I really hope it's good. It's good. Cause it's, wow. <laughs> Cause it's starting to smell really good. All right. It's looking more and more promising. Mm. I wish you guys could smell it. The oregano and basil and garlic in this is smelling vegan tasty. Don't look at the worms too long though. The worms, <laughs> Freudian slip. Don't look at the worm, no. <laughs> Don't look at the onions for too long because they start to look like worms. Okay, bye. All right, it actually looks pretty good. Woohoo! Genevieve said she set the table and it looks as though she's and sitting all the mommy. way down here. And this is daddy. <laughs> We're sitting and this all is mommy. Thank you, honey. All right, finished product. Mm. Okay, verdict is the actual dish itself is really tasty. The stuff underneath our like grain mix just doesn't have a lot of flavor as it is but I kind of figured the flavor of the other stuff would be enough, but it, it's not, so. But I'm like, do people just eat this alone? Just the peppers usually, and sausage? Oh, that, maybe. But we always use that ancient grain mix with um, salad, or salad, with sauce. So I think you're just used to eating that with some sort of sauce. I think so too, anyway. But it is, the dish itself is good. I don't know that it's like a favorite that I would need to repeat a lot, but Tyler, you're really liking I it. I really like it, and I just put a little bit of hot sauce on it, which is this is my one of my all-time favorite hot sauces. Um, the yellow, the yellow bird. bird habanero, and that, Okay, that's the verdict, folks. Okay, different day. It's actually evening at this point. Tyler's gonna make dinner tonight and I am trying for the first time. Mom. Gigi wants you to know that she is gonna be helping as well. Anyway, it's this pre-workout I actually talked about a while ago. It tastes really good, but I've never actually like tried it, tried it, you know what I mean, other than tasting it. So um, supposedly it's, it's one of the best and I'm a little nervous because it gives you that like tingly sensation. But I was asking my YouTube buddy, Emily, she has a channel, MK Fit, and she does, well, she does my favorite like dance workout videos. That's how I came to know her. Anyway, it says mix two scoops in your water. She said to start with a half scoop. And I'm really glad I did because um, I'm totally nervous about that feeling. So I'm gonna report back. I'm about to do like a 30 minute uh, workout that's like a hybrid cardio with strength stuff. And so we're gonna see, I'm waiting for it to, to kick in. It's working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what it looks like, and I got the Hawaiian Breeze flavor. It tastes really, really good. My hair is soaked. Okay, um, I started to feel like little tingles, but nothing crazy. And I will say that I thought it was strength and cardio. It was full cardio. Um, and I at no point felt like tired. <laughs> And I'm trying to think like, am I just in my head, whatever? I'm like, well, but even still. And the other thing I was trying to think back to like other workouts, like do I typically during something like that feel kind of tired and want to stop? And I don't know, I feel like it's 50-50. So I'm going to keep trying it. I definitely think a half scoop was good. I might put like a little bit more and just kind of see and toggle with the amount. But okay, that's the update on that. I was genuinely kind of nervous, but it wasn't too bad. Tyler was like, Jessica, if at any point... <laughs> 
your face kind of feels weird, just grab the towel and like rub it. And that usually works for me. I'm like, wait, my face is gonna feel weird. I didn't feel that though, so that's good. Well, what is up? It is Friday. Allergies are still rocking and rolling. I'm throwing on some lip balm. This is the CauseRx Lip Sleep. It kind of has this like grittiness to it. It says it's a ceramide lip butter sleeping mask. I like it, it feels really good on the lips, but it definitely has like this weird grittiness. And I don't know if you've tried this, is that the way they all are? Or is this one like gone off or something weird? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't expire until December. And also it wasn't that long ago that I got this. Anyway, I'm in the middle of doing my hair. If you cannot tell, I'm using my T3. It's hot, Jess, be careful. <laughs> I'm using my T3 curling wand with like the thicker barrel. This was one of those sets where you get like different size barrels and you just can interchange them. But this is definitely my most used when you see my hair like this. I probably use this unless I had the time to use my shark hair tool. I say I have the time, that takes about 20 minutes and this takes like maybe 15 and then like 10 minutes of hair drying. So they pretty much equate anyway, but anyway. I feel like there's so much to say. <laughs> so first of all, I've got like this killer breakout and actually I've been putting on this Pixie Zero Zit stuff on it. It's a spot solution. I think it's based, it's a salicylic acid if I'm correct. Um, anyway, I like having something like this on hand. I have to say though, I did the old toothpaste trick overnight and dried it out. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not a dermatologist, but <laughs> It works. So um, I wanted to quickly show you while I'm, I'm literally in the middle of this, but I've gotten a lot of questions about what my morning skincare routine is. So I showed my nighttime skincare routine a month or so ago. I can link that video if you did not see it because I go in depth of what products I use, the order I use them in, why I like them, and then some products I was using that I'm like, I really don't like, and here's why. So definitely give that a, a, a check out. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, what I've been doing in the mornings is throwing on some kind of lip something. Usually, honestly, usually it's Aquaphor, but I want I wanted to keep trying this. So my vitamin C serum, I know I've talked about a weird amount. Um, I use some of that and just kind of pat it onto my skin. And it's very liquidy, so you know, just be aware of that if you get this, but it's one of the best vitamin C serums on the market. Um, and I just kind of let that sink in for a minute. And then I have gone back to using this. So this is the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream. I was looking into this because the whole idea is that it's really good at repairing your barrier, your skin barrier. So if you're someone that, especially if you're like me, where you're washing your face a lot, you're putting on makeup, you're taking it off, it really does kind of break down your skin barrier. And so it just leaves your skin more sensitive to everything, right? The elements, the sun, um, all of it. So I've been working on kind of repairing my barrier. And so with that in mind, this is really good for it. But I think that they've reformulated it. It now has a slightly different name. I have not tried that yet, but it looks like you can still find this version elsewhere. And it is such a beautiful moisturizer, day or night or both. It's really moisturizing, like you can really feel it. It's just really good if you've got sensitive skin, if you're wanting to repair your skin, it's just one of those products. So I will inevitably buy the new version when I run out of this, I'm kind of getting close. But yeah, so that I've been doing the past week or two and really enjoying it. And then I have been liking, I don't always use an eye cream in the morning, I usually use one at night, but this one is the Skin Fix Barrier. So again, it's like a line that's good for your barrier, I guess triple lipid and collagen eye treatment. So I've been doing this during the day. You could totally use it at night, but I've been using my Polish Choice Retinol eye cream at night. So just get a little bit, tap it there. I always tap a little bit up here where you sometimes can get like, why not, right? Give it a little extra love. And then I do tap it above as well. Yeah, I've just been enjoying it. I feel like this eye cream, there's something about it. I, by the way, I always wipe off excess onto my neck. Why not? I'm gonna end up having like weird spots where I usually go like this, like not as aged as the rest. <laughs> anyway, I've just been enjoying it. It gives this feeling like it's waking your eyes up. So that has been kind of my morning skincare routine. I might end up filming like a short like reel about these as well. Maybe I've already put it up by the time you're seeing this and you're like, Jess, we already know. But I've been enjoying those. And then of course, in a little while, once I'm done with my hair and I'm doing my makeup, I'll, that's when I'll put on my sunscreen. But 
I had been skipping the step of putting on a moisturizer and just using my sunscreen as that. And I do think that's fine. Like it worked for me for years, but just knowing that this is doing something really good for my skin feels nice. So tomorrow morning we leave for Michigan. So we live in Indiana and Michigan is one of our favorite places. I did not like growing up. I don't think I ever went to Michigan until I was an adult, which is so bizarre because it's only a few hours away. It's right there. Like there were, it, it just is one of those places that we just never went. I don't know why. And so we have now gone a lot. Like that's a place we love to go just for like a um, road trip that's not a crazy long road trip. And anyway, I could go on and on. I just really like Michigan. Well, our my niece who is grown because my oldest brother is turning 50 this year. And that is wild. So it's actually his oldest daughter who has kids of her own. They have this cute little farmhouse up there. I haven't seen it in person. I cannot wait. So we're all, all of us in my family going to visit them. And we're all staying at this B&B that we've stayed at before that is amazing. Like it's a traditional B&B where you are served breakfast in like their breakfast room. They have like a room where you can go and play games together. We had so much fun last time we did it. So I know all of us are super pumped to go do it. Genevieve is so excited to see her cousins. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be one of those really lovely, lovely trips. And in all of the rooms at this B&B, it's like this beautiful old historic home that they've like perfectly, it is so beautiful. Um, but all of the rooms have like giant jetted tubs and all this, so I am personally excited. <laughs> But um, that's coming tomorrow morning. We're driving and it's like, I need to look it up again, but it's I think around a five hour drive. So part of my day today needs to be spent kind of packing for that. It's only a couple nights, but when you're traveling with, especially like a baby, 13 month old, there's a lot you've got to think through and make sure you have. So I really need to make sure I do that, but I am filming a coffee chat today. What else? I have some emails to answer, just lots of different things like that. I would love to film a an instagram reel today we'll see if i actually get around to it but yeah that's a little update on what is going on in my life i'm really excited for this trip it's just like the perfect short little weekend trip to just kind of reconnect with each other and not be on our phones etc cetera, etc cetera. i say that i'm sure i'll post on my instagram but that takes a few minutes <laughs> Sometimes things are just too cute to not post, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, we're doing a quick little Ulta haul because, and actually a little Amazon haul too, uh, because I just got this in the mail and I'm super excited about a lot of it and I'm out of breath from running upstairs, okay. <laughs> so first up, repurchase the Bedhead Masterpiece. This I bought during the, it, this was like 50% off for one day. I shared about it on my Instagram. I tried to share about like when I when one of my favorites goes on crazy sale. So definitely follow me over there if you're not. It is at it's Jessica Braun. I'm so anyway, but you guys know this has been my favorite hairspray for forever. It smells amazing. It's like medium hold. It is mm, it's perfect. I'm pretty sure it's 10 years strong now that that's been my favorite. I finally bought a stippling brush because I just no longer had one. And there are certain cream blushes that just work better with this. So this is the e.l.f domed stipple and this is exactly what I was wanting. It's gonna be so perfect because sometimes stippling brushes, the, the white part of it go out too far and it just, it ends up being sloppy, but this being a little bit more compact, it's perfect. I can tell it's perfect. So if you're in need of a stippling brush, so far, so good. I mean, I haven't used it, but generally I feel like most stippling brushes are similar unless they have extra long things, like I said. Okay, anyway. Why am I acting like I'm in a rush? I am not in a rush. Calm down, Jess. I also grabbed the, did I buy this? I was like, wait a minute. I don't remember. It's the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint. A, I'm pretty sure I've tried this. And B, I don't think I bought this. <laughs> I wonder if it actually got put in my thing. But what I definitely bought were the beautiful new e.l.f. Halo Glow products. I am so excited about these. So I got the contour in the shade Fair Slash Light. I got the blush in Candlelit, and I got the highlight in Champagne Campaign. I was gonna get multiple shades of a few of these, and I was like, Jessica, you just need to know if you like them first, and then we'll branch out from there. So I, I controlled myself, but I kept waiting to see if I would see these in store, because I kind of wanted to look at them in store and decide, but um, they, they never popped up. So I was excited to see they were in stock, because I feel like, they were out of stock for a bit. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I'm excited. I will try these in a 
very soon upcoming video and I cannot wait. So my quick little Amazon haul, I've been seeing so many people wearing these kinds of headbands. Remember these like stretchy big headbands? So this was literally a couple dollars and I was like, we're gonna try the trend, baby. Not necessarily for today, but I'll go ahead and try it. So the way I've seen it worn by most people is, let me see if I can get it around my earrings here, is right in front like this. But usually I feel like it looks best, I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's such an instant vibe though, isn't it? <laughs> what do you do if you have a widow's peak? I mean, do you cover it? Or do you let it, let it shine, you know? It looks so, what am I thinking of? Like 60s, like go-go? dancer is that am I thinking the right thing um I definitely think it can look really pretty when you have like curls like big curl not big curls like a lot of curls I think that's pretty because then you've got like the volume around it I don't know y'all <laughs> I don't know I don't hate it I'll mess with it um but also just from like a working out perspective that actually might be nice and another thing I bought I've had these in my safe for later for forever I was talking with a girlfriend of mine about like art supplies with kids and how it's so hard to like figure out a system for like organizing it because you just start acquiring like now I've got watercolor paints and brushes and I've got markers and crayons and I've got play-doh it it just gets out of control and I have arts and crafts stuff in three locations in my house it's it's all over the place and it is making me Go cuckoo. So I found these and they have different sizes. I got all the same size. I might end up buying some smaller ones too, but they're these really nice mesh zipper pouches. In my mind, the way I'm gonna use them is I'll have markers in one, not in two locations, in one, in one location, crayons and colored pencils in another. And that's why I was saying like, for some of them, maybe I don't need it as big, but for now, this is what we're gonna do because it came with a lot. And then maybe have like watercolor paints and um, the paint brushes all together in one. I don't think I'd put Play-Doh in these because I kind of already have those like in a bin. What other things? Like scissors and glue can be in one and that can be maybe farther away. So then Genevieve has to be around adults. That's one discussion we've had a lot of talks about at the age she's at now. She likes cutting and gluing and all that, but we're like, honey, that's something you need to do with the grown up around, mostly the cutting part, because she's at an age where she would totally like cut her hair, you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it came with like, I think 12, but they definitely have combo sizes. I'll link the one I almost got that had various sizes all together in one, because I, I kind of regret getting this, but also looking at them like, I have a feeling I'll use a lot of these, but the mix pack could be nice because you've got, I mean, they had really small ones too, so you could really, Anyway, so that's my plan. And then maybe getting a container that I can kind of like stack these in, like maybe even vertically in the container, we'll see. But I just thought these were so perfect. The smaller ones, side note, would be really good, especially the ones like this size for like travel crayons or like if you keep crayons in your diaper bag for like being in a restaurant or whatever. Um, just saying. So that was a good Amazon find. Very excited to organize those soon. I'm gonna have Genevieve help me so then she feels like it's her system too so then maybe she'll like keep it keep it clean that was my fun little quick haul I'm gonna try I need to get a little bit of work done and then I'm gonna try to go on a quick run before I go pick up Felicity um, traffic is really bad this time of well coming up soon so if I'm gonna run I need to do it soon so I can get her sooner but I haven't packed at all I haven't packed at all I got some laundry done I need to switch it I just feel like this day has so gotten away from me with filming and stuff too so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit in a run. Maybe I'll do it in the e like later in the evening. I'm just thinking out loud. All right, so see you later. So this plays a bunch of different classical songs and these are all instruments. And as you put them on here, that instrument plays within the song. It is the coolest thing. All right, go for it, girl. do six at a time. Can you do the drums? I want to hear what that sounds like. Is this not the coolest thing, you guys? I could play with this all day long. Well, maybe you can do more than six. So it's got lots of different songs and you can change the tempo and volume. I'll link this below. This is the coolest thing we own. <laughs> I swear to you, I've worn like four shirts today. <laughs> So I'm going to fold some laundry. 
finished packing. I did actually get a bit of it done, so that's good. Um, and we're doing leftovers for dinner tonight, trying to clear out our fridge before we leave for a few days. So um, it kind of worked out really well, so we're not needing to spend a bunch of time cooking dinner, cleaning up dinner, et cetera. It should be nice and easy. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, and I hope that you enjoyed. I feel like parts of it were a bit chaotic. Like I said today, I just feel like I was so scatterbrained. I think anytime I have a day where it's, a mixture of like work and then prepping for something else like especially travel and I don't know it just I just felt very scatterbrained today but I hope you enjoyed if you do like my vlogs please give this a thumbs up definitely check out my vlog playlist if you want to see if you missed one in there I always giggle because I'll get a comment from some of you guys that'll say like lol as if we would miss one and that was just, it's just so nice so thank you for watching all of them if you do um and yeah I will see you guys in my next one bye